Hey YouTube, Stuart had 10,001 here, and this is SpongeBob's Battle for Bikini Bottom playthrough episode 4. And we are now ready to enter the next area of the game, Downtown Bikini Bottom. Last time you finished up Jellyfish Fields, and now it's time to head to Downtown Bikini Bottom. And here we are, downtown Bikini Bottom. SpongeBob, and there's Mrs. Puff. Downtown Bikini Bottom, we have to evacuate. All right, but it's gonna take a while to get all this dust. Hey, Stuart, where's Bikini Bottom? Well, it's So let's get going. Got a whole new area to explore here. Here's a new robot. Over here we see a cannon shooting out sinks. What we gotta do is figure out how to destroy these thunder tikis so that we can press these buttons. We need to lure the cannon to shoot the sinks at the thunder tikis. There's a little hidden area back here. Let's see what's here. Here's the first downtown bikini bottom sock, of which there are nine. So now let's hit all these buttons, see what happens. Sorry, stopped recording. Don't know why. So anyway, there's another golden spatula. Also the cannon gets crushed by a giant anvil, as you can see. So let's continue on here. Here's the first steering wheel.
here's another one. And here's a sponge ball that we can use to get through the skate before it closes. And here's another brand new robot called the G-Love. Because he's got a lot of gloves, as you can see. There's Gary. So with this robot, we gotta stomp him from above. But first, let's go over here. We already got that steering wheel, so... You hidden tiki's back here. Gotta be sure to get everyone maximize our shiny object count. Gotta be sure to avoid the spilled out hot sauce on the ground. Another G Love robot and another steering wheel. Yeah, don't want to touch that stuff. So we can use these thunder tikis to blow up these gates and create shortcuts. There we go. And there's another cannon. For some reason, the cannon is shooting sinks and chairs. So let's check to see what's in this ditch. Not much other than a few shiny objects. Looks like we're going to need the sponge ball in order to cross it.
there's another sock over there. You can't get that yet, though. And for some reason, sinks and sofas are, and chairs are spilling out of that open window. Better close that. That takes care of that. Here's Bubble Buddy again. And here's the lighthouse. We'll be back here much later. Well, not much later, but later we'll be back to open that door. But for now, let's go up these slippery platforms and get that sock. And here's another clam to feed to unlock a bonus area, the Sea Needle. So let's see what's there. I believe the Sea Needle only actually appears in one episode, pre-hibernation week, when Spongebob and Sandy push each other off it. Well, Sandy pushes Spongebob off it. But here we get to see the inside of it, which is pretty cool because we never get to see that during the show. But as you can see, of course, the robots have ruined it. Someone's broken the sea needle. That's horrible. The sea needle is the cradle of Crochet Corner. Yes, yes it is. But what's more important is that there are tiki's and shiny objects just outside the windows. Mr. Krabs, how can you think of money at a time like this? Easy. Mr. Krabs can money. always think of money. Money, money, money. Now listen here, boy. You know that I'll give you golden spices if you bring me shiny objects. But I'm going to sweeten the deal. If you can break all the tiki's here at the sea needle, I'll give you a bonus golden spatula. Why would I want to break the tiki's, Mr. Krabs? Uh, because they weren't laughing at you and calling you funny names. What kind of funny names? Um, you know, Spongebob butt pants. Spongebob butt pants. Funny. Uh, no, but they said your mom was ugly. Ugly? All right, Mr. Krabs, bring them I tell. You got a deal. Smash all the tiki's, and for your troubles, I'll give you a golden spatula. Here's a bus stop. <laughs> Oh, look, it's Sandy. But we'll think about that later. There's a bunch of doors that are closed. So let's head through the open one and see what there is to see. So let's use a spongy hook. Going down. So let's break all these tiki's.
Just a few more. The key is to break the floating tiki's and and if you break them, the non-floating tiki's will just fall. Another steering wheel. Here's the next bungee hook. This part's a bit more dangerous since there are actually thunder tiki's here. Want to try to hit the floating tiki's but avoid hitting the thunder ones. Oops. Looks like we're gonna have to break those tiki's all over again. Yeah, unfortunately, since we fell, we're gonna have to do redo the tiki's we've already broken. Come on, cheekies. Just a few more, and there we go. Now let's carefully head back over to the third bungee hook. Over there's a new robot, which we haven't even been introduced to yet. But we took care of him. He's called a Chuck, because he chucks missiles at you. Here we see a lot more tiki's. Which we will of course have to smash. I wonder if the Tiki's are technically alive. I mean, they do react on their own. 
And they do turn and look at SpongeBob wherever he, he goes. So I think they are at least partially alive. Anyway, just need to smash those last, that last group, and then back to Mr. Krabs. The stone tiki on the top makes it very difficult to reach the other two. There we go. It's a good sound. So here's our golden spatula from Mr. Krabs. We'll have to come back here later to open that last door. That'll be later. And now let's head back down to the downtown streets and continue on. There's another steering wheel up there, but I don't think we can get that yet. So let's go back and check in this ditch. I think we were already here. I think this is in the same place that we were before. Yeah, that's the same ditch. Yeah, we were already here, too. So, it looks like we'll need to use the sponge ball to roll through this hoop. Here, here we are. And there's Gary! Alright, so it looks like we're going to need to go get Sandy. First, let's just check the area for any shiny objects and stuff we might miss.
time we could use this bus stop to uh, get Sandy. Sandy can do a whole bunch of stuff that SpongeBob and Patrick can't do. <coughs> such as such as this glide with her lasso can be used to cross large gaps. Sandy can also use her lasso to get rid of robots like that. So, so now we can get this steering wheel up here. Let's see if we can have Sandy glide through that hole. I don't, I don't think she fits. Oh well, let's continue on. Can't forget to check up here. Destroy that cannon. And here's another steering wheel, cleverly hidden. We also figure out how, have to figure out how to get to that sock up there. So let's continue across this gap and across here. Sandy's got a nice karate chop move and a karate kick. She can use her lasso to get far away floating kikis. And she can also swing from these swing hooks. That'll come in handy. Let's see if we can use Sandy to get across here, on top of the first nautical bank. Let's see what's up here.
Ah, uh, there we go. So now let's use Sandy to go back to some of the previous parts of downtown Bikini Bottom and reach higher platforms that we couldn't reach before with Spongebob. Such as up here. Yep, here we go. Now we can get the sock. The thing about Bubble Buddy is that Sandy's never actually met Bubble Buddy in the, in the episode. They might have met some time later that we didn't see in the show. <coughs> Alright, so I think we have just about all the collectibles now. Let's see if we could use this trampoline to get back up here. I guess we can't. Oh, well, I guess we'll have to go and retrace our steps. So let's continue up here. And we'll and we'll cross these swing hooks. Now that teleport box is open, good. We could also use that trampoline to get back up there, also good. Let's see if there's anything we missed up here. Obviously not even Sandy can get the stone tikis. She can, however, get these tikis. Let's 
to see if we missed any shiny objects here. So, I guess we're ready to grab that golden spatula and head out. So, let's just head up to the rooftops now. <coughs> and that'll be it for this episode. Here we see Larry the Lobster. So I guess that'll be it for this episode. Please stay tuned. A lot more to come. Please like, favorite, comment, and subscribe. And yep, that's it. Thanks for watching. Yep, so stay tuned. Yep, and this is Stupid Hit 10,001 signing off.